Hello guys, welcome by this new tutorial. In this new tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a domino track in a really easy way, in a really quick way. So hit play and let's see what we're going to create in this one. As you can see, all the dominoes are falling and it's pretty easy. So, that's what we're going to create in this one. The only thing I animated though is the sphere. So, the sphere is the only thing animated. Everything else is fully dynamic. So that's basically it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start a new project. I'm doing this in R13, by the way. So, yeah, this is my first tutorial in Cinema 4D R13. Um, let's go ahead and create a floor as I did. And we're going to go to the top view and we're going to create a spline. And what we're going to use that for, I'm going to tell you in just a moment. We're just going to create a simple, really simple line. Uh, you need to keep in mind that you, it's not handy to we have really sharp edges so for example this one is kind of tricky but it's probably gonna work anyways okay wow that is a really bad shape however <laughs> okay uh, so we have this shape right here and it's big enough Okay. Um, and okay. So yeah, what we can do is, oh, that's good. Once we have the spline here, um, it's totally good. Now create the cube. Create a cube, and we're gonna edit the cube. Make it actually make it flat make it thin. There we go, make it a little bit smaller. There we go, that's basically it. Okay, once we have that, we're going to create MoGrav cloner object. Drag the cube into the cloner object and we're going to change the mode to object because we're going to align all the cubes to the spline that we've just created. We're going to align the cubes to the spline. That's why we need to do cloner and then mode object. And like I said, we're going to align those to the spline. So the object is the spline. We have a couple of problems going on. I'm going to explain them one by one. As you can see, the cubes are rotated 90 degrees, which is not what we want. So first up, we're going to fix that problem. So we're going to go to the transform tag and we're going to hit the r.h tag and make it 90 degrees and now it stands correctly now for the next problem if we head up the count and we count a little bit more you can already see the problem here they're not evenly spread over the spline as you can see here is a really big gap though here in the corner are a lot of dominoes so what we're going to do is we're going to change the distribution from count to even and that will evenly spread all the yeah cubes over the spline so you're going to add a little bit more count to this one something like 125 or something this is probably good now okay the starting point is going to be this cube right there so we're gonna create a sphere for that. You can be however creative you want to be. You can make a hand or model a hand and tip the first one over. You can be as creative as you want to. It's really up to you. And we're gonna scale the sphere a little bit. And we're gonna place that correctly in front of there we go and make it a little bit higher as well 
Okay, so... Yeah, that's about good. Guess. So, let's go ahead and keyframe this sphere. Uh, let's go ahead and keyframe it. So, hit the keyframe button, go to frame 10, or something like that, and as I said, you're going to knock the first one over. So, that's basically all the keyframe, all the keyframing you have to do. Now, the only thing that we need to do still is add the dynamic tags to make it completely dynamic. That's the only thing left to do. So, how we're going to do that, Maxon changed the dynamic tags. It's not anymore under if you right click for example it's not anymore in the dynamic tags it's under simulation tags there are the rigid body this collider body and all the stuff that we need so for the floor it's an object that we oh I forgot one thing I guess yes I did as you can see the floor is right here and the dominoes are right through the floor so we need to put them up it's really easy to do hit the spline because the dominoes are connected to the spline and move them up and I'm not really sure if the sphere is correctly placed right now no it's uh, here so what we're gonna do is uh, place it up a little bit and hit the key for it so what you get due to the animation is that well that's good so whatever okay uh, now it's awesome it's on the floor instead of through the floor somehow okay so where were we we are going to add the dynamics so hit simulation tags for the floor and the floor isn't really going to interact with our scene it's only going to be a floor so the objects can fall through the floor so we only need to add a collider body here so hit the collider body and a tag and you don't have to change anything to that the cube however uh, don't put a rigid body on the cloner object because that's all the cubes um, we want it to knock over cube per cube so we want the cube to be dynamic, not the cloner object. So hit the simulation tag. Or if you don't get what I mean, just try it out and you'll see what I mean. So hit rigid body. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change one setting. The trigger is immediately. But I want the trigger to be on collision. Or when it touches another cube, it needs to start falling. Or it needs to be dynamic. So we're going to hit on collision right there and we have one tag to give away here which is on the, to the sphere hit simulation tag, hit rigid body and do the same here trigger is on collision else it will start falling down it will start falling down actually make this a little bit longer 400 frames or something like that maybe a little bit more 800 frames and basically that's all we need to do for this one. Um, there's one thing left. The sphere, once it touches the first cube, boom, it starts falling down because it's on collision, and once it touches it, it's becoming dynamic. Now, it's logical for the sphere to fall down because dynamic means there is gravity. However, we don't want the ball to interact with our entire scene and knock over other dominoes that we created. We just want it to knock over the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to frame 0. We're going to hold control and as you can see, if you hit the sphere and the rigid body tag, you see here dynamics enabled and it's checked. We're going to hit control and as you see that little circle right there, we're going to click that. It becomes red, so control and click that, hold control or command on the Mac and click that little circle, become red. Code, go to uh, keyframe 10 where it actually knocks over the first uh, domino or cube. 
we can go ahead and uncheck enable and hit control again and click that little circle again. So that what that will do is it will basically be enabled these 10 keyframes. So that's enough to drop the first cube as you can see. So okay, the only thing left here is in R13, I'm working in R13 as you can see right here. In R13, the frames that you see right here is the max is going to play. So if you add more keyframes, you really need to drag it out to play everything. Just play with R13 and you'll get what I mean. Now, and go ahead and hit the play button and you'll see what I mean. And there goes the dominoes. Pretty awesome. And we that was everything. So yeah, that was basically this tutorial. You can make awesome shapes with it. Just play around with Cinema 4D. However, if you have any questions regarding to this video or other videos that I have, you can PM me, so send me a message on YouTube. You can also comment on the video that you have a question on. I'll probably read it and hopefully I'll respond to that one. I try to respond to every question regarding to Cinema 4D tutorials because when I'm watching a tutorial and I miss something or something, and I comment and nobody comments back is really annoying and that's what I'm kind of trying to solve here I'm, I'm really trying to answer all your questions that you post in the comments so yeah that was basically it for this tutorial thanks for watching and yeah I'm gonna see you in the next Cinema 4D tutorial thanks for watching and please leave comments bye